I need you to say yes to God. Yes to his will. Yes to his way. For God has made us that we can live and not die. All together begin to say yes. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh God. Come on, one more time. Yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way, oh God. God, I ask you as I stand before your people that you allow the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart to be accepted in your sight. To redeem us out of ignorance, to redeem us out of darkness, to redeem us out of hurt, harm, and dangerous ways, that you give us our daily bread and allow us to walk in you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh God. In Jesus' name. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap this morning. As we say yes to his will. And yes to his way. God has truly been good to us to the capacity sometimes we don't even recognize it. And every now and then you need to stop in your tracks and say yes to him. Yes to his will and yes to his way. Causing the word of God to be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. That he might be glorified in everything that we do and say. Amen. In Jesus name. To God be the glory. I don't know about you, but God deserves all the praise. He has taken us from this yesterday unto this day and allowing us the opportunity to worship him according to his goodness. That means is that all that's going on, he still allow us the breath that we breathe and to give him praise, glory and honor. 
He's allow us to look into his word and find the life that he has in store for us through his son, Jesus Christ. So I say, I thank you, God, for what you're doing in the midst of us. I thank you, Lord God, for bringing to light your will and your way that we can live and not die. Today, I am going still to address the issues or the title that I've been dealing with for the last couple of weeks. And I thank God that uh, we're looking forward to the coals of fire next week. The coals of fire. I am with building as an expectation in my spirit. And for those out there on social media that don't know what coals of fires are, are the individuals that committed themselves to the purpose of God in this house. And God is using them to light it up. To light it up. The scripture says that we are living stones. Living stones. That means I don't live by this world circumstance. I don't live by this world situation, but I live by the testimony of my Lord and Savior that I am redeemed from the darkness and the corruption that's in this world. And I shine as lights, as the scripture says, coals of fire. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So these are individuals that decided, you know what? I'm sold out to God. I'm sold out to God, not for the money, not for the prestige, not for the announcement of it, but for the will of God to be done. So I'm going to ask all of you to join us next week. If the Lord so allow us, we're going to have the coals of fire. I'm going to put it back up. The uh, little uh, poster there is going to put it back up. I forgot it this morning, but I'm going to believe God for great things. Amen. It's a wonderful thing when people commit to God for his purpose. Yeah. Y'all didn't hear me. We're living in a time when people are committed to themselves. I feel my soapbox coming on, Lord. Have mercy. I feel my soapbox coming on. Social media, what that means, I just deviated and standing over here for a minute, just give me a breath. What it means here is, is that God has allowed us an opportunity to experience his goodness. And we have decided we're going to stand in it. We decided in this house that we're going to allow the word of God to be our partner. We're going to allow the word of God to lead us and direct us. But more than that, we're going to allow the word of God to watch over us. See, it's one thing to look ahead of you, but it's another thing to have somebody over you. Oh, y'all didn't get that. It's one thing for somebody to know where they're going, but it's somebody that's watching completely over, know what's going, coming, sideways, in and out. That's the wisdom of God watching over us, allowing us to have life and that much more abundantly. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited about it. For in this house, God has allowed us to experience what he said in his word. And I'm dealing with it on Wednesday nights, but I don't need to do that. Come on Wednesday nights and just get back off the soapbox now. And let's do what we are here assigned to do. I've been teaching about what it is to stand. And my subtitle today is called Blessings. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, you got to know what it is to be in God. And the way that you can know what it is to be in God is no experience his blessings. Let's turn to Ephesians because I feel like myself is going to the left again. But I'm going to get it done today. If the Lord will allow it. I feel like dancing, but I can't do that right now. I feel like shouting. No, 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 we, 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 no, 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 we ain't doing that. I got that. We just done it.
work to do this morning. We got some work to do this morning. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Come on, I just thank God for it. Yes, sir. Come on and give God a prayer. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. We got to go to work this morning, though. We got to go to work this morning. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh God. She'll come back. She'll come back in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I guess that's why he gave me a help meet to help me dance. <laughs> Truly, God is good. Amen. I thank God for it. We're dancing because of our victory we have in him. You dance because of the victory you have in him. But here at Christ Lit Tabernacle, I am Pastor David Frederick to have you understand why you're dancing. See, if you're dancing out of feelings, those feelings are going to change. If you're dancing out of circumstances, them circumstances are going to change. But if you understand why you're dancing, if you understand why you're, oh, 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 my God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, if you understand what you're dealing with, you can have a dance even outside of the house. You can have a dance in the job place. You can have a dance in the marketplace. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So let's, let, let, let's find out what it is to dance. Let, let us find out what it is to have the victory outside of the feeling, outside of what you think, outside of what's going on in the world. Oh, my God, I feel it. I do. I do feel it. But I got to get some understanding. Somebody say, I got to get some understanding. You see, the only way that you can appreciate God, you got to know him. Know him. That doesn't mean you look at the sun and the moon and the stars to know him. You got an intimate relationship with him. You and him think alike. You and him talk alike. You and him see things alike. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So let's deal with this this morning. Let's deal with it because I, I got to believe God. He, we got to get it done. We got to get it done. Let's go to our foundational scripture at Ephesians chapter 6. Lord, I feel it. I feel it up in the house. But I got to give you something to take home with you. 
I got to get something in between your ears and in your spirit. Because when your baby is sick and the doctors don't know the answer, you got to have something in here. Oh, y'all ain't with me. When they lay in people off and you don't have a job, you got to have something in here. Oh, y'all ain't with me this morning. When people are dying all around you and God promised you that it shall not come nigh thy dwelling, you got to have something in here. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You got to know that you know that you know. Oh, my God, my God. And see, that ain't based on no feeling. That ain't based on a reasoning. That you, but you know your God to be a deliverer. Oh, my God. So we got to see in the word of God how he delivered us and caused us to have the strength to be able to stand. So let's go in the word of God so that we won't walk around here ignorant folks. The message Bible used that a term, so I'm going to use it too. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, you don't put the armor on to fight him. You put the armor on to help people go through. I've been trying to help you the last couple of weeks. See, the devil is already a defeated foe. I need you to put on you the armor so that you can help others go through. Oh, my God. So let's look at it. Let's look at the word of God. Because you've been taught that the whole armor of God is to fight the devil. That's not true. That you may be able to stand when the enemy is acting like an idiot. Oh, Lord, have mercy. When death and plagues are all around you, you got to have the armor of God. That means you know who your God is. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, I know, I know that's not that dancing, but I see, I'm going to put it on your head. I don't, see, I would love to dance, too. I would love to feel good, too, for the moment. But, see, I got to get in a situation that I know I got the victory. Yeah. That when they decide that they want to close North Carolina down, they ain't close my God down. When the KKK stand up in the middle of my yard declaring their decree, I got to know I got a God of heaven and earth so that I won't lean to my own understanding. Y'all ain't with me this morning. When they call you out of your name and you're standing in the liberty of God and you're not being moved. Oh, y'all. See, you're going to get it in a minute. You're going to get it in a minute. See, it's one thing to feed the poor, but it's another thing to feed your spirit. Oh, y'all have mercy. See, when you are hungry in your belly, only that thing which goes through your mouth comes out the draft. Then that thing is gone. But God wants to feed his people. Y'all with me this morning? God wants to feed his people with his goodness and his mercy. So let us get into the word of God so that we can understand what God is allowing us to do in the times that we're in. Let me bring you up to where we are. For the last two or three weeks, I've been teaching you how to stand in the time of adversity. Now, what I'm teaching you is that what we are going through right now, there's something worse that's going to come. Your physical body perishing ain't nothing. You wait till your soul is at jeopardy. When these false prophets begin to speak lies against the God of heaven that you serve. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, I knew, I, you know, see that? See, that's a different fight. That's a, that's a di different element of you being able to stand. But God said, David, prepare my people to stand because what's coming, flesh ain't going to be able to survive. I'm dealing with it on Wednesday night. And see, if you don't understand this capacity of the word, it doesn't matter regardless how you feel when it comes, it will overtake you. Let's go to the word of God, because I done lost myself. I done lost my 30 minutes. Lord, have mercy. We're dealing out of Ephesians chapter 6 so that we can constrain ourselves by the word of God. Amen. Not by our feelings, not by our emotions, not by our reasoning. Let me tell you another reason why this is important. People are going to say some crazy stuff during this time. There was a man on, the, on social media declaring death all over North Carolina, saying death is going to hit North Carolina. My wife said, well, COVID virus is all over the United States. It's already hitting the world. But he was laying another layer of death on it. And my wife stood up to that prophecy, no, we shall live and not die. Oh, y'all ain't with me. 
And he ain't nothing compared to what's getting ready to come, y'all. That's it. That's it. And I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm not talking about this election. I'm not. See, that doesn't deal anything with my spirit. Amen. That's right. just got to deal with my natural man. Right, right. Though the outward man perish, yet the inward man that trusts God shall be able to prevail. Yes. Lord have mercy. Let's, maybe if we get into some word, I might be able to. Get in between the noggin in your head there just for a minute. To adjust our thinking. Amen. Amen. Let's read so that we can go on. Let's go all the way down to verse is in chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Uh -huh. Verse 16. Uh -huh. Above all, take the shield of faith wherewith all you be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. This is not a war stance. This is called a progression stance. That means is that I'm not standing still. I am taking his territory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's not a defense mechanism, the armor. It's a progression. It's a offense. That means that, that you should progress in God. That the devil is going to throw fiery darts at you. But the armor of God has equipped you to keep going. Yes. Amen. I'm going to show you in a minute. Show you in a minute. But if you don't carry this armor, degradation is going to take you over. Seeing people die to your left and your right. Seeing people get sick and not get out of the hospital will take your mind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seeing people lose their jobs and now they're crawling through your window trying to get something to eat. That will make you lose your natural mind. Now you're carrying a 45 on your side. Uh -huh. yes, the KKK is declaring what they want in the United States. But you want to give up your civil, you want to get your civil rights as an African American. That's nation rising against nation. Yes, sir, flesh it. against flesh. Uh -huh. The devil's got us duped knowing that he, as long as he keep you confused, yeah. the will of God ain't working in your life. He is the author of confusion. As long as this is going on, the enemy is completely at work. Amen. And if you saw the live this morning, the scripture says, where sin abounds, grace therefore much more abounds. That means that God is doing greater things than what you are seeing. I hope I'm talking to somebody. You know, I was talking to the church that just wanted to dance while ago and Want to shout. Maybe I'm talking to the church that want to believe God today. Because the scripture says, above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now I'm going to ask you to turn to Matthews so that we can get some work done this morning. Matthews chapter 5. And everybody knows this scripture. They quoted a thousand times. But you got to know what it means. Yes. Having on the armor of God has caused you to become the blessing. Yes. People are waiting for you. Amen. The ones that have the armor of God on, the people in this world are waiting for a light. Yes. They're waiting for something that's contrary to what they are seeing. But do you have anything to show them? Come on. Uh. So watch what the word of God said this armor is. Watch it. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 6 said put on this blessing. Yeah. I'm trying to help somebody this morning because the armor is blessing. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't getting it. Someone that's able to stand uh -huh. when everything is bad. When everything is contrary to the way you feel and you think. Death is at your door. You got to be able to stand. Amen. Told you now. Stand, Are you going to dance through a fire when the fire lights up your house? On, no. But an individual that's been blessed is going to walk out like the three Hebrew boys. It ain't going to touch me. Oh, y'all ain't with me. See, being blessed is like being like Daniel in the lion's den. Yeah, know that your God is God. Yeah, oh, y'all ain't, ain't with me. Yeah, See, when you know that your God is God, Goliath is nothing in front of you. Yeah. 
Oh, Lord, have mercy. So let me show you who that kind of person is according to the word. Can you get that AC for me and turn it off for me? Let's read it now so that we can go to work here. Matthews chapter 5. Y'all there? Verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Y'all didn't catch it. Blessed is the one, for theirs is the kingdom of God. See, the kingdom of God cannot be resisted. It can't be shaken. It can't be moved. They that are armored up are the blessing. Happy is the man. There's another interpretation there. Happy is the man that know that he's a part of a kingdom that can't be moved. I'm going to keep working on it. I am. I'm going to keep preaching. I'm going to do just like Noah. Keep preaching and teaching it because people are dying. They're not dying because of the COVID virus. They're dying because of a lack of who he is. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I would love to get my dance on. I would love to wallow in the, in the mire. I would love to spring and, and slob. I would love to sweat. But you see, when you get up, you steal a wreck. That's not an indictment. You need to get something in your spirit in the times of adversity that is coming. I am the blessing of the Lord because he's equipped me to go through what is happening for somebody else. The reason Jesus did what he did was because of you. So when you equip yourself with God's armor, you are doing it for somebody else. 90% of the time you're dancing, you're dancing because of yourself. Uh Uh-oh. That didn't help them people get through this COVID virus. You know how many denominations are in a a bind right now because of the coronavirus? And there are the ones that had these huge choirs and they danced for 30 minutes to an hour. And when the COVID virus hit, they left the church. I want to make it real plain to you. They're the ones that packed up their bags and said, oh, let me go. Because Donald Trump said that there's a COVID virus and they stand on TV and they told me this thing can kill us. And if we get close together enough, we're all going to die. So therefore, you kept everybody at six feet arm length. You ain't wearing the armor. You don't know that you have been blessed. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Inherit is the same thing. I'm going to get something that everybody trying to steal for. Everybody trying to rob for, everybody trying to lie for, everybody working for 60 years for. I'm going to inherit it. See, in the African-American community, we oftentimes don't experience that word. No, I'm just dealing with because I'm one of them. Inheritance is, is that you get something from somebody or you get something as a child from your parents that you haven't worked for. The scripture says that I shall even inherit to my children's children, children. Boy, if I got what my daddy gave me, I might not be here today. But he did all that he can do. So now I'm going to my father. Not my daddy, but my father. To receive an inheritance that I did not earn. Now, what kind of God would it be to get something from him that this world can take away? You saying you were blessed? Were you blessed when the coronavirus hit? Let's move on. Y'all going to get it in a minute, I hope. 
He said, blessed are the merciful, they shall be obtained mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall what? See their God. If you see God, sir, you know you have the victory. God has already overcome this world. Oh, see? See, now, see? See, ain't talking about members now. I'm not talking to members. I'm talking to citizens. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. See, tradition can't bring you this. You wearing a nice suit on Sunday can't bring you this. I'm only trying to help. I'm not trying to throw nobody on the bus. I need you to get this. See, just going to do good deeds can't get you this. What you need is to see your God, the God of heaven and earth. And every God falls under him. Every last one of them. Amen. Buddha. Farrakhan. All of them. Elijah Muhammad. Whoever it is. Allah. Joseph. Whatever they want to call him. They can call him whoever they want to. They can call him a puppy dog. I don't really care. Amen. Every God falls under this God. Y'all with me? Let me? I need to move on because I got quite a bit to cover this morning. To get into your spirit. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Verse 11, so that we can get through. This. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil falsely. Did y'all see that? Watch what blessed are ye when ye men shall men, 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 not demons. And that men here is not talking about the world. Uh oh. That's actually talking about your brother that's sitting beside you. But we ain't got time to work it this morning. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you. You falsely for my sake. So let's go there. There's a reason why he said for my sake. Let's go to the word of God. Hosea said it this way. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because I have they have rejected knowledge. I will reject thee. That thou shalt not be a priest unto me. See that thou for, for knew the law of God. I will also forget thy children. What did I just read that for? Because you forgot who he is. He will let his enemies overtake you. Yes. Y'all didn't get that. My people are destroyed. The word destroyed there is that you cannot make headway with your living. Or with your life. Amen. That means you are burning the midnight oil and you still ain't got nothing to show for it. You are trying to do the will of God and nobody respects it. My people supposed to be the head and not the tail. We often use that just for money. That ain't what it's talking about. You're supposed to be in a position to influence them. You ask the world if they respect you. They'll tell you. By what they do. And they don't. And you're blaming them. Uh-oh. You're blaming your cousin, your uncle. You're blaming your brothers and your sisters. You're blaming your government. You're blaming uh, uh, Donald Trump. You're blaming everybody else instead of looking in them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So now I need to be blessed. See, I'm tired of feeling good about God. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey, Pastor, you said that. See, brother, I can feel good and be poor. I can feel good about God and be poor. You know, I can feel good about God and be rich. But I'd rather feel good about God and have it all. That comes with knowledge. You know why you feel better than somebody when the next person next to you? 90% of the time. See, in our culture, we look at what they have and we size ourselves up based upon what they have. 
What am I trying to say? Have you ever been out shopping and somebody got raggedy clothes on and you begin to look down to them? I am. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you this morning. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just because a person on the street is poor doesn't make you better than them. Just because Donald Trump is a liar doesn't make you better than him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But I want to become a blessing that Donald Trump needs, that the man on the street needs. Y'all ain't with me, y'all ain't with me. I'm not looking for a blessing, I'm looking to be a blessing. See, I know. Yeah. See, see, selfish people don't understand that. Because it don't make it don't feel good. Because you got to rely on him and not you. Come on, sir. Come on. You know some people feel good, but just because they preach. True story. I had that arrogant spirit before. Preaching is to hurl the word of God, and I feel good because the word of God is being done. Oh, y'all didn't get me. See, when you can see the workings of God in your society, you know the word of God is being done. And that's by faith. Yes. Now I'm getting into the core of this thing. If I'm walking by faith, it doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what come or what go. I'm depending on him to bring his word to pass. And if I trust him in that way, he will make all things come that I need to me. I'm not struggling with the idea of am I going to be okay. He gave me a future in him. If he gave me a future, he got to take care of me till he bring it to pass. I don't know about you, but that's an inheritance. That if he promised me good health, God, I'm going to trust me. Though you slay me, I'm going to ask, ask Job, did he dance? Job didn't get up and dance in the middle of, no, he didn't. His body was filled with sores, sores and, and pests and all those things was eating at him. But the thing that came out of his mouth, though he slay me, and everybody that came to him, he blessed them. Oh, y'all go read the story. Go back and read the story. Everybody, even his enemies, he blessed them by what he said about his God. See how, see how the feelings are moved out of the way now? See how that misconceived conversation of your head thought is moved out of the way when you're lining up with the reality of God? God, I want to be a blessing because I'm the salt of the earth. I want to be something to somebody that needs something. I want people to get saved by my, my lifestyle. I want to be people to be encouraged by what I see, what they see me do. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't with me. Y'all ain't with me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Because for him I live. Oh, y'all, anybody at home today? Anybody at home today? But let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. Isaiah 53, 4 has put us in a position to be a blessing. Now watch what it says. We read it a thousand times, but watch what he says here. My people, and Hosea said, my people are destroyed because they don't know their God. They don't understand. They don't perceive. Therefore, they committed sins and iniquities and transgressed. Watch God work. Isaiah 53, 4 said it. Surely he has borne our grief. And carried our sorrows. Yet did he, we did not esteem him smitten, uh, stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Verse 5. But he was wounded for my transgressions. I'm y'all going, see, I'm getting excited all by myself. Because you see, if I can't do it, he will do it for me. Oh, y'all ain't getting it this morning. Though this world perish, he's already died for it. People not getting excited because they want a blessing for themselves. What is a blessing if you can't share it with somebody? And I'm not talking about just putting a warm meal in somebody's stomach. That's a wonderful thing. But I need to put some word in your life that will change your eyesight. 
or change your view, the way you think, the way you feel, what you want, what you desire. Watch the word of God. Watch this. Verse, verse 5. But he was wounded for my transgression. I have dis denounced the word of God, transgressed, meaning that I have done something to my brethren. Go look it up. That was not lawful to God. That means that I was trying to worry about myself and not my neighbor. And that's an offense to God. That means you ain't blessed. To be blessed, brother, is that your cup runneth over. Oh, y'all are going to get it in a minute. See, I want to be a blessing. I want to have enough to give to somebody else without even thinking about it. I want to do something that somebody needs in their time of trouble. I want to be a blessing. And the only way I can get there, that God had to remove the stench out of my life. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquities. Y'all ain't with me this morning. He was chastised out of a peace was upon him. That means those stripes, he healed me. Oh God, I got to go to work. I got to go to work. It's time to go and I got to go to work. You see, if you don't know how to navigate the reality in which we live in, you're going to lose sight of who your God is. I'm trying to teach you how to navigate what we are going through. Stop worrying about you and start seeing the will of God being done. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was put upon him. One of these days, we're going to get it. Then we're going to get excited. Then we'll dance. Watch what I'm telling you. Because, you see, the reality of this brings about the authority of God in the earth. Yeah. That people are going to look for you. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, y'all didn't catch it. I'm not looking for a homeless person. Uh -uh. I'm not looking for Donald Trump. I'm looking for somebody that can help me. Yeah. Oh, y'all going to get it. See, if you're looking for money, go on and find Donald Trump. He got plenty of it. You probably won't get it from him, though, but I'm just trying to tell you something. He's only going to help the scope of his hand. But this man, oh, Lord, have mercy. This man has put you in a place that nothing can hurt you. Oh, one of these days. One of these. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was put on him. And by those stripes, God got a relationship with you. See, God don't have relationship with a poor man. He don't. That's why he had to make you rich. Oh, y'all going to get that. See, he sent his son to come down. He didn't come down. He sent his son to come down to bring you up so that you and him, you and God can have a relationship. God ain't worried about being sick. God ain't worried about paying bills. God ain't worried. About, see, he got to bring you up to his level. That means you got to be blessed. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And he did this out of his free will. That means he didn't ask anything of you, but just believe. That's all he asked. It didn't cost you nothing. Do you not know that if you don't vote right this season, you, it's going to cost you? It's going to cost you. All the stuff that Donald Trump is doing, and I'm not throwing the man under the bus, but the man need to be under the bus someday, day. But I don't want to be the one to do it. But I'm just trying to tell you the political stance in which he stands. He believed in increase. But he increased those that are increased already. You don't understand that. He put things in law to help the rich to stay rich. Off the back of the poor. He don't care about if you black, white, Puerto Rican, or Chinese. He just know about if you got money. And guess what? Any other, anybody else is going to be president is going to do the exact same thing. Oh, y'all ain't even get that. You think you got salvation in your political system? 
That thing will rob you of your soul. Go to work. Go to work, son. So I vote Jesus Christ. And I ain't talking about putting no ballot in. I bow my knees to him. Oh, God. See, that's how I vote him in. I bow my knees saying you are God and God alone. You are Lord of Lord and King of Kings. You are my savior. You are my deliverer. Oh, y'all ain't with me. And what he does is equip you to survive in this earth so that you can represent him. Y'all didn't catch that. And he wants to give it to you freely. And guess what he's going to do? It. He's going to give it to you freely. Go to work. Watch this. Watch this. Peter, uh, 2 Peter, verse 1, 2. Now watch the language in which Peter says here now. Watch this. Watch the language now. I need y'all to watch the language. Watch the wording. God means every word that comes out of his mouth. And right now he's using Peter to pin something that I believe we missed. That's just me. Watch what Peter says. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Y'all don't catch that. God don't mind it. Grace and peace be multiplied. The word multiplied is that you got some, but I'm going to give you some more. Catch what he's saying. You ain't going to have no too much peace, poor. You're not. You're not going to have too much grace with riches. But he said grace and peace be multiplied unto you could yes. God Almighty how is it on going to increase let's read the first of the part of the statement grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge oh God through the knowledge of your God I wish I could preach I really wish I could teach Lord have mercy that you will have an increase by getting to know him. Oh, God Almighty. Do you not know? I know people that go to school for almost four years after 12 years of school and then go another four years to get a degree to get this job that only pay them six figures and they are happy about that. Then after the job get through with them, they give them a watch and send them home to die. But God here says that after you get saved, y'all ain't with me. God Almighty. That's what multiplying is. See, he can't add to nothing. He's got to add to something that's already there. So there he said, grace and peace be multiplied to you. That means you already got it through the salvation of his son. So now he wants to increase it. Oh, God. I'm going to get it one day. He ain't talking to the world. He's talking to the ones that was wounded and he was bruised for you and that accepted it. And now God said, I want to increase it. How do I increase it? Through the knowledge of him. Not the knowledge of what's going on around you. Not the knowledge of how to get more money. Not the knowledge of how to be a better husband or wife. Not the knowledge of being a better parent. It's the knowledge of him. Oh, my God. Uh, he said, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through, 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 through. You got to get it and live it. You just can't know it. The word through is that you got to live what you know. It's only effective when you live it. Oh, God, come on. I got to get, get this out. So, therefore, it's through the knowledge of him. And watch what he adds in there. Oh, God. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. I feel like dancing again. Lord, have mercy. Through the knowledge of God and the word and there without this, it can't be. But with this, it's more. Y'all ain't with me. Through the knowledge of our Jesus Christ, our Lord. That means that what he done, you can't fail. 
Oh, y'all going to get it. Oh, God, I feel like jumping out of my skin. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So it would behoove me to get to know the God that I serve. Because he said, my people are destroyed because they don't know me. One of these days. One of these days. One of these days. Y'all read on the rest of that and let me get on because I got to get ready to go. Revelations 5 and 9 describe it this way, partner. Watch Revelations 9, 5 and 9. And they sung a new song, singing, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wert slain. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. He was slain and has redeemed us to God. Oh, my God, help us. Redeemed us to God by thy blood. And of every kindred, out of every kindred, out of every tongue, every people and nation. If that's true, why are you fighting one another? Why you got a problem with me because of the color of my skin and you say you are Christian? Why am I looking to the political system for a check? Uh-oh. Why am I concerned about that job when they don't want to pay me right? That's it. Oh, y'all, yes, let's, let, let's get busy. Let's get, I got all my soapbox for me. He said everything. And verse 10, and has made us unto our God, kings and priests. Now, we're going to deal with this Wednesday night. But I ain't never seen a poor king. I ain't never seen a poor king. Not in any of my research have I saw a poor king. Not one. The very title denotes that he has more than enough. Y'all didn't catch that. The very fact that he carried the title that says that he has more than enough. When the last time your circumstances called you a king? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You see, the king and priest, meaning that I'm here with what God got me, gave me so that I can serve you. That's what priest is. Not myself. Oh, good God Almighty. He gave me more than enough so that I can give you. And the reason I have more than enough, because I am blessed. And I'm blessed because he has equipped me during the time of evil. Uh Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. In the time of plagues, in the time of distress, in the time of rumors of wars and wars and rumors, in the time of false prophets. Oh, y'all ain't with me. I am equipped to deal with this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am equipped to deal with what I'm facing. Not because of me, but because of him. Oh, good God Almighty. And because he lives, that means he's already overcome it. Uh, One day we're going to get it. I'm so tired of religious people. I don't know what in the world to do. But God has increased my patience. Because he said, David, don't do evil because evil doers are going to be cut off. Religious people are going to be cut off. That means that their path is leading to a bridge that's not there. The same bridge equipped for the saint is going over death, hell, and the grave. But they can't cross it because they can't see it. I wish I could. One of these days. One of these days. One of these days. I can't deal with the rest of it. But I'm going to. We got got another Sunday in this month. The Coast of Fires. We can't deal with it. So I'm going to ask you to go home and read. What it is to be a part of this union. 
to be a part of this knowledge. I'm going to ask you to go home and read it. Go home and, uh, and expound or go home and look it up in the Webster Dictionary what these terms mean. Ambassador. Having wisdom. Discernment. Leadership. Teaching. Having knowledge. Being able to be an exhortationer. An individual that know how to exhort someone. We got to go. We got to go out there social media. That's why I'm going through this. I'm going to read one of them to you before we go so that you can understand this. What it is to have faith. You see, when you are equipped with the reality of God, these are the characteristics that flow out of you. Everybody is always talking about apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, preacher, teacher. Those are offices. I'm talking about the ones that are blessed. That these things usher out of me in the time of decay. These are the things that come out of me in the time of desperation. These are the things that set my precedence. These are the things that's important to me. Because they're not for me. They're for you. Because of him. Oh, was, multiply me, God. Somebody say multiply me. Y'all give me five minutes out there because I really want to read the one about wisdom if I can. Wisdom is the gift that discerns the works of the Holy Spirit in the body. Oh, let me read it again. Wisdom is the gift that discerns the work of the Holy Spirit, not the prophet. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not the pastor. Amen. Not the teacher. On, Wisdom of God is equipping you to see what God is doing in the body. Y'all yes, ain't with me. Y'all ain't with me. Yes, me and my wife was talking about what it is marrow in the bone. Do you know not without the marrow in the bone, your bones will basically get thin and break? Do you not know without the marrow and the bone that your body can't fight, fight off infection? Right. Y'all stay with me. Do you know without the marrow and the bone? She said that thing about the red blood cells, if there's too many white blood cells, that it will cause a problem in your body. You will decrease in health. So there must be an equalizer, and that's called the red blood cells, that eat up the white blood cells if there's too many. So guess what the red blood cells in the body is? Wisdom. It keeps, it keeps the body alive. Y'all ain't getting this. I got, y'all got to give me five minutes. Y'all got to give me five minutes. See, when wisdom is operating in the body, it discerns what the body needs. Oh, y'all ain't with me. Wisdom discerns in the body that there's something in it that's called dividing and conquer so it ushers out the white blood cells to fight against it oh y'all ain't with me y'all gonna get this one day y'all gonna get this see we used to think this is being a prophet we evangelist pastor preacher teacher but if you are in the body of christ this should be a part of your everyday activity because you are blessed i'm worried about if you are making it I'm worrying about if you are making it. I'm praying that you make it. So now God increase my wisdom. Wisdom is the gift that discerns the work of the Holy Spirit. I can see what the Holy Spirit is doing. The Holy Spirit is only doing that which pleased the Father. God Almighty. Oh my God. This wisdom does not take paramount in the body of Christ as a whole. How do I know that? Because if the wisdom of God, this wisdom was in the body, there won't be no division. Come on. Come on. That's right. Oh, have mercy. I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. There won't be any denominations. Let me get this out. Let me get this out. It is discerned the Holy Spirit in the body and applies his teaching and actions to the need of the body. Oh, my God. So when I see the Holy Spirit working, I asked him, according to his word, how to encourage you to stay the path. Amen. Amen. I know it ain't shouting music. I know it ain't shouting message. 
But if you take up this armor, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. If you put on this helmet of salvation, if you take up this sword of the spirit, if you have your feet shopping with the preparation of gospel of peace, if this thing it will cause you to be multiplied. Because you are bringing people out of the ditch. God has an inheritance for these people. Play, play, sir, so I can get out of here. God has an inheritance for these people. And guess what? None of these things operate in selfishness. None of them. If you're here for somebody else, then the wisdom of God gives you the ability to see the need. Well, y'all ain't getting that. Yeah. I wish I'd, I, I ain't going to be able to get to it. I ain't going to be able to do it. Sir, sir, sir. He made this available to you out of Isaiah 53. Because of your wrongdoings, you can't inherit the kingdom. So God filled the gap. Through Jesus Christ so that God can pour into you his goodness. Even if you're wrong, he wants to pour into you his mercy. And Peter is saying, I want it to be multiplied. The only way it can be multiplied, you got to live it. Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Maybe this ain't this. Maybe this for 2025. If you live out this word as we're getting ready to go, I promise you that anything that comes up against you, and notice my words, listen to me and listen to me good. They're going to come. Trials, tribulations, all the persecution, diseases, this stuff is going to come. Because it was already predetermined. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Y'all are getting this. We can't change that. But God can change you in it. Yes. Got to. Yes. I'm going to say this and we're going to go. And I told my wife, God spoke to me one morning. I believe it was God. He said, David, most of the believers have become leeches. If you don't understand what a leech is, a leech has no self-motivation. They have no goals of their own. They have no intuitiveness of taking care of themselves. You have people just like that. Watch what God said. He said, David, I'm going to take you through tribulation to get rid of the leech. Y'all ain't. I know they'll get this. When the three Hebrew boys was thrown in the fire, the scripture said they were bound hand and feet. And the soldiers pushed them in. And when they attempted to push them in, the fire was so hot, it killed the soldiers. But while they were in the fire, the fire burned the ropes off of them. Oh, my God. The ropes were burned off of their hands and their feet. People are going to come and try to bind you up with their religion. Uh Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And with their theology. Oh, Lord, have mercy. In their seminary schoolness and and all their deep revelation. But God is getting ready to bring a fire. Oh, y'all ain't with me. That's going to burn every last bit of it off of you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, flesh ain't going to be able to make it through this. Flesh ain't going to be able to make it through this. Your gift and your talents of your ability is not going to be able to make it through this. But he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. He was chastised for my peace. And by those stripes, I have access to God. And now God wants to increase me. Okay. Please play softly. For those out there on social media, as we get ready to go, the only way that this is possible to you is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Romans said this way, if you believe with your mouth, if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. Love you. 
be blessed in Jesus' name.